Bonjourno. My name is Henry Golding and I am going undercover on the intranet. This is actually me. Twitter. Can I swear in this? Natalie, you got potty mouth. So who the fuck on here makes movies? What is Henry Golding going to be in next? I'm obsessed with him and can't wait to pay $19 to see him for two straight hours again. Well, Crazy Rich Asians, done. Simple favor, done. I have an independent called Monsoon, which we're figuring out which festival to go into. I am starting production, can I tell this? Last Christmas with Paul Feig, Amelia Clark, and Emma Thompson. Um, and I've also got a very secret, top secret, amazing production with Guy Ritchie, which I'm extremely excited about because I grew up with Guy Ritchie, Lock, Stock and Two Spoken Barrels, Snatch, the guy's a legend, cannot wait. How has Henry Golding only four acting credits on IMDb? Technically there's only three or three of them, maybe four now. But there's a whole list of like, they always list what chat shows you've been on as well. So that kind of beefs up my IMDb. But by the end of the year, I'm hoping there are going to be six. So watch this space. Henry Golding. Did you realize that ATV put up all your travel shows, especially without boundaries about a month ago? What a throwback to days when I used to watch you on Quickie and ATV back in KL. So damn proud of you and Crazy Rich Asians. Henry. Malaysian Pride. My first ever, ever, ever show on television was called The Quickie. It was a 15 minute live TV show every single day. And then I continued with travel shows. There's Without Boundaries, Beaches and Islands. There is Welcome to the Rail World, Sabah Earthquake. There, I'm just gonna list them all. You know what? Just search on YouTube, you'll find them. Instagram. You look sad, mate. You all right? Yeah, I mean, I think I was half expecting that. Uh, it's a very melodramatic photo. Um, but no, I'm on top of the world right now. Work is fantastic. Loving this new Hollywood thing, but it's a lot of hard work. I think this was the combination of promoting two movies back to back and ending up on the couch. This is what I look like on a day-to-day -day basis, watching Netflix, on the couch, in my undies, slouching. It's a good vision for you. <laughs> YouTube, an addiction, which I need to see somebody about. I think what I got in the, in the, uh, the end of year book was sexual healer. Uh, did he go to a posh boarding school? Where did he get that accent? I grew up in a state school, which is your everyday school in the suburbs of the UK. No posh school at all, not private school. I think I just picked it up as I went along. And it kind of turns a little transatlantic. My wife is, well, she has this like international accent, so sometimes I do funny things with my R's and uh, yeah, but I still pronounce water, water, instead of water, like over here. Replied. If he has never acted before, how come I see comments that most Malaysians have watched him before? That is because when I was a hairstylist in London, I moved back to Asia 2008 when I was 21 under the premise and under the guise of trying to get onto television because I love the idea of being a host. It looked really fun, managed that, um, and have been doing that for eight years now. So, uh, so I've been around. I'm an old hag, really. Quora. Does Henry Golding speak Chinese? Was his Chinese pronunciation on Crazy Rich Asians accurate? I can't lie about this. I did most of the Chinese in the ADR room, which means we Frankensteined a lot of my really terrible Chinese sounds because I'm pretty much tone deaf and Chinese, you gotta use tones, so no. Submit. What are some cultural references in Crazy Rich Asians that a non-Asian audience might miss? Cuckoo Chow. It's Bernard Tai's pretty much catch line or something that he shouts out a lot. It is from Malaysia slash Singapore. It means little winky. Submit. IMDB. His mother is from the Iban people, an indigenous group in Sarawak, and Henry completed the Bajalai, an Iban rite of passage in the jungles of Borneo. 
absolutely truth because I went on this amazing production with Discovery Channel, undergoing this for July, it's like a journey into manhood, ended up with a humongous tattoo on my right thigh, which I still have to this day. Wikipedia. The tattoo on his right thigh is a fig tree that wraps around other trees and takes their form to become the tree itself. True. And it also has heads of dragons on either side. It's abstract, it's not really a, a dragon, much like Ben Affleck's phoenix on his back. No. It's formed into the shape of sort of dragon heads to represent sort of becoming oneself of whom you were meant to be. Post it. More Twitter. That was really stupidly English. More Twitter. More Twitter. More Twitter. Even more Twitter. You know how some Iban men and women sometimes mulata in Iban? Do you think Henry Golding mulata in Iban when he gets scared? Like Ochina. Mulata, just to explain, is almost, it's, it's like a slight Tourette's in terms of when you get scared or somebody scares you, you shout out the first thing that's in your head, which is often a swear word or something extremely obscene. Um, so no, I don't. Henry Golding, how does night diving feel as compared to day diving? What's the difference? You don't see shit at night. Let's just be honest. <laughs> you have a torchlight, and if the, uh, the visibility's crap, you can't see anything. I did a dive show where I went around the beaches and islands of Malaysia, fantastic places, Sipidan, Mabul, Kapalai, Layang Layang, were some of the most beautiful dive sites. I went diving at night once, never again. Wasn't very good. Hafiz thinks Henry Golding should be the next Superman. Do you agree or who else would you suggest? I know Hafiz, he's from Fly FM in Malaysia, good friend, and hells yeah, why not? Asian Superman, sure. I don't have that many muscles though. I think I'd have to hit the gym a fair amount. Henry Cavill is a hunky man. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid that's all we have. Henry Golding, signing off.